Lea Tortilla presents. Happy Christmas! It's me, Lea Tortilla, and welcome back for another episode of Lea Tortilla Counts Down to Christmas. This episode of Lea Tortilla Counts Down to Christmas is only going to be a little one, but I'm going to teach you how to make the perfect accompaniments for your Christmas dinner roast potatoes and Yorkshire puddings. These recipes are so easy that you'll never need to use Aunt Bessie again. Sorry, old love. So let's get cracking. Eggs, I mean. Now, the secret to a perfect Yorkshire pudding batter mix is really simple. Equal quantities. Grab yourself a small dish. Here I've got myself a pie dish. This is what we use to make our pies at work. Now this is going to serve as our measuring instrument. So with my pie dish here, I'm going to do what we like to call a double mix, which is where I double all of the ingredients. So we're going to start with our eggs. We're going to need around six eggs for a single mix. So that's 12 eggs. For a double mix and you want to crack your eggs into your dish right up until the top so what I mean by equal quantities is you see I've got six eggs here so what would be the equal quantity of milk for six eggs well you just fill this dish up with milk up to the same point you have the eggs. And you do the same again with the flour. It's really not that difficult. But as I'm doing a double mix, I'll fill the pot up twice. I'm just gonna pour the eggs into a bowl. Double mix, double the eggs. And like I said, it's the same with the milk. You fill your dish up, same level you had your eggs at, pour that in. Obviously I did it twice, so twice the amount of milk. Same again, in the bowl. And just like I said, equal quantities, so again with the flour. We fill our dish up to where we had our eggs and our milk, put that in the bowl. Then we follow the flour, egg and milk with a generous pinch of salt. And then we're going to mix the mixture with a whisk until it's all combined and, pr and practically smooth. I think it's time I got a new whisk. The key is to get as much air into your batter as possible. And that makes really light and fluffy. Once your batter mix is fully combined, you want to put it in your fridge and let it rest for at least 20 minutes. And while our batter is resting, we're going to fill our Yorkshire pudding trays or muffin trays like I've got here with a decent amount of plain vegetable oil. I don't know whether or not you can see this, but you want to be quite generous with the amount of oil you use. Then we're going to pop this in the oven at 180 degrees until the oil starts to smoke and it is really hot. So be careful, it is quite dangerous, but I'm sure you'll be fine. While our batter is resting and our oil is getting nice and hot, why don't we get to peeling some potatoes? In my honest and professional opinion, I'd say that the best potato for roasting would be the Maris Piper. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any Maris Pipers at home at the minute, so I'm just using a regular old red skinned potato. Um, and that's just gonna have to do for now. But yeah, if you're gonna do this, 
I highly recommend the Maris Piper. So once you've peeled your potatoes, you're going to chop them in half and then half again and then the other half in half again just like that and you're going to pop them into a saucepan if they are small like this one then just in half once will do try not to throw them on the floor and then you're going to cover them with cold salted water and then we're going to bring them up to a rapid boil while we're waiting for our potatoes to come up to a rapid boil 20 minutes has passed so i'm going to pour some of my batter mix into a jug so it's easier to pour into our tray before we get round to cooking our yorkies you can see that my potatoes are now up to a rapid boil so we're gonna turn them off and then leave them there for five minutes we're gonna take our batter we'll grab a fork and we're just gonna lightly whisk it up just to get some more air into it we are carefully going to take our tray of steaming hot oil out of the oven and we're going to pour our mixture in you should start seeing it and hearing it bubbling fizzing that's a good sign and then we're going to place them back in the oven now it's vital once your yorkshire puddings are in the oven do not open the oven door for anything or anyone for at least 15 minutes. Otherwise they will sink and go like pancakes. No one wants pancakes with their roast dinner. But your Yorkshire puddings will take at least 25 minutes in the oven. So after five minutes, you want to drain your potatoes and we're gonna rough them up, get them nice and fluffy on the outside just by beating them up a little bit in the colander then we're going to put our fluffy potatoes in a tray and we're going to get them ready for the oven when making roast potatoes you want to make sure you don't overcrowd your tray make sure that there's plenty of space for them to wiggle around otherwise your potatoes will just continue to steam and you'll end up with mash well part roasted mash and you don't want that you want roast potatoes so to prepare the potatoes for the oven, we're going to dress them with a splash of vegetable oil. Make sure they're well coated. Of course, we're going to add a sprinkle of seasoning, so salt and pepper. And then we're going to toss our potatoes in some fresh herbs. You can use dried, it's up to you. Here I've got rosemary, thyme and some crushed garlic and I've actually kept the skins in there. I'm just going to want to toss them gently in the herbs. And then we're going to add the thing that makes them the tastiest and that's a big old lump of beef fat. You can use goose fat or whatever other fat you want to use, but here I've got beef fat and it's literally left over from when I had roast beef on Sunday. All I did was deglaze my pan that I cooked the beef in with some red wine and I passed it through a sieve and I put the liquid in a container and put it in the fridge and all the fat settles on top. And you peel that off and you put it on your roast potatoes and that is our roast potatoes ready for the oven i'm just going to wait for the yorkies to finish and then we'll pop these in it's been about 20 minutes so i'm going to check on our yorkshire puddings oh 
they look spectacular. Honestly, you've never seen Yorkies like this. Come on, look at the size of it. It's bloody huge. So Yorkshire's out, roast potatoes in. I'm gonna crank the heat up to 200 degrees and hopefully it'll come out nice and crispy. Look at how light and fluffy these Yorkshires are. You hear that? Mm. What an excellent crunch. So now the roast potatoes are in the oven. They're gonna go in there for around 25 to 30 minutes, but keep checking on them every five or 10 minutes just to um, shake them up and make sure that they're cooked evenly and they go crispy all over. And all you have to do with the Yorkshire puddings before serving is pop them in around five minutes before your dinner's ready and they will warm through and be even more delicious than you ever expected. And to cook more Yorkies, all you do is take the Yorkshire puddings out and repeat the process. So oil in the oven, 20 minutes, pour the batter in. Simple as that. So this is just me checking on my potatoes, giving them a shuffle round in all that fat and deliciousness, making sure that they are evenly coated. And then I'm gonna pop them back in. Would you look at that? My second batch came out even better. Mm. Nice, light, airy. And there we have it. There's our golden and crispy roast potatoes too. They smell gorgeous. Honestly, the best thing about a roast. I hope that this video helps make your Christmas even more spectacular. And thank you for watching Leah Tortillas Countdown to Christmas. I will see you next time for another festive recipe. Bye guys. Wait one minute, just before you go, I just remembered you need a shot of me eating my potatoes. Oh, hot. Just what we want. Nice, light and crispy on the outside and beautifully fluffy on the inside. Mmm. Happy Christmas. See you guys later. Thank you for watching Leah Tortilla. Don't forget to give this video a share, give this video a like, leave me a comment, I love to hear what you have to say. And if you really like what I do, then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week for more episodes.